The grounds are almost ready for the Kansas State Fair. The event is scheduled to start September 8th. Attractions and prices are different this year. KSN's Asia Simone Smith reports on how the community feels about the changes. Asia? Julia, the fair is not hosting their well-known pig races this year, and there will only be there won't be a one per excuse me, there won't be one coupon per ride on Dylan's dollar day. I spoke with the fair regular who says he's concerned about the changes. No matter how little it seems to some people, it's a lot to a lot of other people. The changes are causing some concerns for common fair goers. Nick Hemphill says he and his wife enjoy taking their daughter each year. She's at that age where rides are a pretty important part of the trip. But those rides won't be the same. The fair is letting go of the one coupon per ride discount on Dylan's dollar day. People were using uh, ride tickets from different dates. Uh, so now this year we have gone to a wristband for $25 and that's an all day long wristband, unlimited rides. And Phil says he valued dollar days because his family could ride together. On the other days, our daughter just rides because then otherwise that just adds up really, really fast when you start spending, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars in a couple of days at the fair. He's seen similar frustrations on social media and hopes the fair board will listen to the concerns. The feedback I receive are people saying that they're just simply not going to afford to go this year. The fair manager says general admission prices have not changed and they ended free admission after 9 p.m. due to issues with minors. We are also running into some issues with, you know, kids getting out of hand a little bit and our uh, highway patrol was having to deal with that. So after nine o'clock, it is five dollars. He says people have also expressed frustration about not having the pig races. We're trying to find Joe a, a better place that's right close to where his uh, petting zoo is and we feel that we've got a good place for him next year. Yeah, it was disappointing. It was a surprise, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're living with it. We're okay. I mean, I know there's been a lot of, you know, uh, negative <laughs> not having them, but, you know, we're all on the plans to bring the pig races back next year. Joe Hedrick says while they won't have the pig races, they will be bringing their petting zoo. The fair's general manager says there will still be a lot of Kansas-based entertainment and performers during the 10 days of the fair, and it's going to be a great opportunity for family-friendly events. Here for you, Asia Simone Smith, KSN News 3.